one of the first questions you have is, is this a print that's made in water? In other words, somebody had wet feet. Or is this a print that's made in dust? Somebody walked in, stepped, had some dust when they came in from the outside or came from another room and brought it with them. And the, the way you determine, there's two ways of determining that. One, and probably the best method, is using an electrostatic lifter to lift it. What you're going to do, what you do is you create an electrostatic charge the electrost on a piece of mylar film. And the electrostatic charge will attract the dust particles and pull it up off the ground off the floor onto the, the film backing. So the mylar film has a foil on one side for conducting electricity and it has a black side on the other side for lifting of the print. Okay, so we take our electrostatic lifter out and what we're going to do is lift this print over here. So we set up our electrostatic lifter. This gets plugged into the front. Can't, there's only one way it can go in. And you generally want to have your electrostatic lifter in the same plane or close to it as that the print's going to be on. The next thing we want to do is to cut off a piece of the mylar, foil back mylar to about the same size as the a little bit larger than the fingerprint, I mean the footprint. And you guys are tired, huh? Just you. You're actually going to cut off two pieces. One, there's two of you, huh? And we'll cut off another piece which is about an inch or so, two inches wide. That becomes our ground. Oops. Okay, so we're going to lay, lie this, we had this finger, somebody get a flashlight and shine it on that so I see what I'm doing here. That's a pretty thick, it's pretty thick, so what I'm going to do is, this is not the best cutting job I've ever done in my life, maybe I'll turn this around. So you have the foil up, you have your ground like this. We take the electrodes and we plug them in and interestingly enough it's color-coded which means there's no chance for making a mistake, right? And even if you did you couldn't plug them in the wrong one anyway. Which is nice to know. I'm assuming this is going to plug in there. Yes, there you go. That plugs into the yellow slot the orange or red goes into the red slot. We put this over here like this. I think I want this like this. And the yellow is for the ground. The red is for the, for the mylar film itself. So we turn this on to max. This is set on high. And Okay, so you see it's uh, plastering itself down on the, the floor. It's done. We're going to roll this out to get rid of any air bubbles. And do it once more, just to make sure we've got everything. Okay, it's done. Okay. So that's it. We have hopefully lifted that print or, or part of it. Hopefully most of it. Last light. Okay. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Now, the electrostatic lifter can be used on almost any surface. It can be used on a, on a rug. If you can find the, the dust print on a rug, you can lift it. Somebody kicks in a door and leaves a print on a door, you can lift it. Somebody steps on a windowsill coming in, you can use it. 
uh, piece of paper, newspaper, magazine, any kind of a surface basically is amenable to it, but you need to make sure you have a dust print. You will not be able to lift, using an electrostatic lifter, a print that is made with water. In other words, you've had wet feet, now it's dry. But that's how you tell the difference. You try to lift it with the electrostatic lifter, and it won't lift. That tells you something about the properties of it, right? Okay.